Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapcha. So in this video, we are going to discuss about organization policy in Google Cloud. So in our previous videos in this playlist, we already discussed how to create organization folders and project in Google Cloud. Then we discuss about IAM in Google Cloud, how we can play with the roles and permissions. Then also we had a demo on IAM deny policy. What is IAM deny policy? How to create IAM deny policy? And then we also had a sessions on what is a privileged access manager in Google Cloud and how we can use a principal access boundaries in a Google Cloud. So these were the some concepts we discussed about identity and access management and a resource hierarchy. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about organization policy. So first, we'll discuss what is organization policy, when we should use organization policy and then we'll have a demo on organization policy will create some organization policies in this video okay so just one thing to remind if you are looking for a google architect certification or planning for the architect role or looking for the cloud engineer certification or a cloud security engineer certification then organization policy is the most important topic and we'll have around four to five questions on the organization policy so if you're planning for this certification then i would recommend this video for you and what are the different questions you will get around this organization policy that is also I'm going to cover okay so now let's jump into organization policy and try to see what is organization policy in a Google Cloud now we'll see what is organization policy so organization policy is a set of constraint applied on Google Cloud a resource so organization policy can be applied at the organization level folders level or the project levels okay now Many of the learners at the initial stage get confused between the IAM policy and organization policy. So basically IAM policy define who can access which resources or what action they can perform. But the organization policy does not define about who part. Okay, So they don't care who is performing the action. They only define the action or configuration which are allowed or restricted. Now let me give you a simple example. Now I am owner of the project and I have access to create a virtual machine but now my organization policy is defined that I cannot create virtual machine in US Central one region now even though I am owner of the project and I try to create a virtual machine or a compute engine in my US Central one region it will fail a virtual machine will not get created because it doesn't care if I am owner it will only think okay what is the option is allowed and what is restricted if creating the compute engine is restricted in certain region then it will be restricted for all okay so let's try to figure out the difference between the uh, organization policy and IAM policy so if you jump into the demo then all differences all confusion will be definitely clear but here I am just trying to convey you that IAM policy define on who can perform certain action while your organization policy define what actions are allowed or restricted now let me give one real life example now in your office if you go to the office your office is having policy that you cannot enter without identity card okay or ID card now it doesn't care if you are a CEO of the company your security guard just ask for ID card if you are a manager till it will ask for the ID card and you cannot enter your office without ID card this is kind of the organization policy we have in Google Cloud where we restrict some says restrict some actions okay now let's see that to set change delete organization policy you must have organization policy administrator role so without this role you cannot work with the organization policy okay and one more things I want to show you here that if you are working with the free tier account and your Gmail ID project with no organization you cannot create organization policy so this feature is only for the organization who is having a domain attached to it and they are having organization resource now we already discussed how to create organization resource that in our previous video so I'm not going to cover that again but if you are using your personal account free tier project your Gmail ID then working with organization policy or creating it, it's not possible here okay so that is a uh, one confusion most of the learner is having that they cannot create the organization policy in their free tier account okay so just to be clear here and then let's see some key features of organization policy that these are used for centralized governance 
then inheritance as i said organization policy can be created at the organization level folder level and a project level okay so that can be inherited so if i created organization policy on the organization level and within my organization i have 100 folders then my organization policy will be automatically applied to all 100 folders by default and within 100 folder i have thousands of projects then that policy will be inherited to the all a project so this inheritance will apply for organization policies okay and this will be helpful for maintaining audit and compliance for your organization okay now suppose if my client is from the US and my client want that all the data should be reside in a US region and all resources should be created in the US but by mistake I can create uh, my compute engine in Asia region I can do that by mistake but to maintain that compliance and audit what I can do I can just simply add one organization policy that it is uh, it is restricted to create any resource in my Google Cloud platform apart from the US region so I can set that policy and in this video we are going to set that policy okay so we can restrict these accesses we can restrict this action and maintain our audit and compliance for our uh, customers okay now let's try to see how this organization policy work okay so organization policy administrator just define the organization policy and it will just apply organization policy on the resource and hierarchy node so it can be your organization it can be your folders or it can be your project so once it is applied it will be by default inherited to the lower resources so if you added organization policy if you added organization policy on your folder it will be inherited to the all the project within the folder okay so same for the organization folders and project and these are at the end will be applicable on the resources so all these constraints are based on the resource and now these are the theoretical view of the what is organization policy now we'll just jump into the practical things here and let's try to show you what are the most commonly used organization policy or as an architect what I recommend to create organization policy for your organization for better security so first is a resource location restriction so just work with your customer and decide what location they want their resources in suppose they want all resources in US central one then just restrict resource location only in US central one if someone tried to create any resource it can be storage bucket it can be BigQuery table anything any resource if someone tries to create outside US location then the resource creation will fail that is one most commonly used organization policy in most of the organization then disable default network creation as default network like whenever we create a GCP project by default there will be one network created that is a default network default VPC so the default VPC has a lot of drawback that we already discussed in one of our videos and we'll still have a more discussion in our VPC section so if you are using for the production then it's always recommended to use this organization policy that whenever a project is being created it will just disable the default VPC creation okay then disable external IP so it is not recommended for the organization or production use to have external IP for your virtual machine okay then disable public access for the storage bucket that your storage bucket should not have a public access and you can look for the other method to expose your publicly accessible images or other data okay. but your public access should not be allowed on the storage bucket okay and the disable service account key creation that is the most dangerous one so if you are allowing your organization or employees to download the service account key then if they misplace that key someone can get access to your complete environment so that is a big risk for your organization so you can simply add a organization policy policy to disable service account creation so this also we are going to see in this video okay and then disable host project deletion so suppose if you are having host project and then service project kind of network topology so you can just add policy to disable host project deletion so it will not impact the multiple projects okay so then you can have a newly added function cloud function generation policy so suppose now we have a cloud run function second generation and developers are still using the first generation but you don't want that developer should use the first generation now and everyone should use only a second generation 
so in that case you can just enforce that policy that no one should be able to create a cloud run function with the first generation so we are going to see this policy as well in this video okay so now that was all about organization policy now I'll go to Google Cloud Console and I'll just start working on the organization policy with our hands-on demo.